Good afternoon, and welcome to our session on the changes introduced with the 5.8 update to Maplewood Connected Achievement. This session is designed for people who come into Maplewood Connected and enter the marks for the report cards, so the marks and the comments for your report cards. If you're using our embedded mark book, which we hope everyone is, but if, if you're using that, please view the markbook session. This session is designed for people entering only for the report cards, the marks, if there's any learning behaviors, and the comments. So we wish you a happy new year and we'll get started with this session. Uh, the first area where we made some changes is we consolidated the menu options under achievement. In the past, there were five as it pertained to mark entry, class achievement, individual, class comments, class markbooks, and individual mark books. And we just had some feedback from users saying that was a lot of options to pick, from which to pick, so we decided to consolidate the main achievement entries into two, um, marks and comments by class, so that includes comments now, and marks and comments by students. The other options all remain the same, and depending upon your security, you'll have permission to them. So the objective of this session is just to go through and highlight some of the changes. The, um, they're, they're cosmetic and how this works in using the area, but uh, you'll like it. We think it'll be to your, your benefit. So just looking at your main achievement by class area, you'll notice that um, there's a little bookshelf at the top. They look like three little books. That's an embedded online help resource. So if we click that, what you will see, and I'm guessing this is how you accessed us today, is this actually gives you access to the videos, and this would be your session, what's new in 5.8 for non-Markbook users, and we've also embedded the documentation. So previously, you would have gone to our website and likely downloaded it, so we've embedded it right into your application, which are the little books here. Okay, so from an orientation of this screen, uh, you've got your main topics and your subtopics, so that hasn't changed at all. Um, what you will see is under the gears or the cog, the options icon, there are different options under that area where you can show deleted students. Uh, that's new, that's moved from a main screen into this area. Uh, if you're deciding to use mark books, that's there. And there's another option, show final mark. We'll talk to that at the end. So I've just enabled the show deleted students. And what you'll see is there's a student who has been deleted with a strike through their name. Okay, uh, up to you what your preference is. Uh, many don't like to display the deleted students just for ease of entry, but it's completely up to your, your preference and what you like to do. Um, we've, in terms of the main screen, a, a big change is there's an instant save. You don't have to press the save button as you work through the assessment, whether their letters or marks are saved automatically. Um, so there's no save button or auto save message. So you'll, you'll really enjoy that. Uh, there's an area you'll notice some graphing abilities. Uh, you can graph for individual students. You can graph for all the students with a grade, learning skills. Um, you can go through and see how the marks plot out in the letter distribution and the frequency. So we'll give you an opportunity on your, your own to explore the statistics and the graphs. And again, if you want different statistics to view there, you can select them under the, the gear or the cog, the options icon. And another big change to this screen, and I think probably the most predominant that, that you'll notice and is to your benefit, is we've consolidated the comment entry on the class screen as well. So if, for example, I wanted to put in a comment for an individual student, if there is a little, looks like yellow post-it note, that means there has been a comment entered. The white sheet with a plus sign means that there is no comment entered yet. And finally, the little yellow, almost post-it with the red outlines, means there is a comment, but that comment exceeds the space as defined by the school or the board for the comment. So it really gives you a lot of ability within here for comments. If I'd like to go in and put a comment for an individual student, I would just click either the white or the yellow, and you can type your comment in this area. Your quick comments still exist. Your comment-sensitive words still exist. Uh, don't pay any attention to the content of this comment just the tools that are available. Your suggested list, suggested comments exist. 
uh, you're adding to the banks and your spell check. So that all remains the same. But what's quite nice, and you'll notice as well from this screen, is the student's mark. You can see within this area as well for which you're commenting. Okay, so that's quite nice that way. If a student's comment is read and exceeds, you'll notice right off the bat it gives you the text of comment is too long. This comment may be cut off when printed. Please click the print preview button to give you an accurate representation of the comment. So if I click the print preview button, what will come up is a PDF. And you can clearly see that my, my comment is too long. I can see where I will need to do my editing of this comment. And I would edit as I've done in the past, and I'm used to. So that works out really quite nicely. The individual comments for a student. If you'd like to do the class comment by group, uh, just go up to whichever topic you'd like to put in a com for which you'd like to put in a comment. And you'll notice here, apply group comment. Again, you have the context sensitive word. You have your banks your suggested comments. Uh, you'll notice then that you press the continue button. And on this screen, these are the students for whom you're selecting to apply the comment as a group. You've got the student name, the grade, the program. The student has been identified as being in a program and the mark. All of these blue column titles, if you click on them, will sort those columns in that order. So if you'd like to sort by mark, by programming, and or by grade, if it's a blended class. So that works out quite nicely as well. And you would just select the students for him to apply the comment. We've also added two new options on the end for the method of applying your comment. In the past, we had the append and replace. We've now added two new options of prepend with new line and prepend. So hopefully that'll, you'll appreciate those and take advantage of those areas. To apply the comment, we just press the apply, and that's the using of the, the comment by group. So really a nice consolidated streamlined process of entering the marks and, and the comments. Uh, we've added a much wider student name column and uh, the topic columns as well, just to display a little bit more information. Okay, as we go through, we can put on our final option or select our final option that I'd like to highlight today, which is show final marks. Once we've selected show final mark, you'll see hopefully the, the color contrast is coming across well in my screen, a blue column entitled Final Mark with a little information button on it. Uh, this will appear if the school has allowed for teachers to show the final mark. Um, and this mark can be written to you based on the settings at the school. There's an information icon that will display the term and term and topic weights that determine the final mark as defined in the office. So this is quite nice. It, it shows your weighting as it's been defined. The, the thought process behind this was just to give the teachers more information. So um, just giving you all kinds of information at your fingertips and available to you. So that's the idea of the final mark and the information button beside it. And that's it to the changes on the class achievement screen. If we go back to our achievement area and we look to the marks and comments by student, a couple little subtle changes that we made in this area. If we go to the top, what you'll notice, this is the, the same as before. However, under term, you'll see now that I have semester one final displayed. What I can do now, and I, I really like this feature, is I can select all terms. And what you'll see now is semester one first and semester one final. So I can see if there's more as defined by the school, you all would show, obviously. But I can see a complete picture of the student's assessment from report cards. With respect to the comments, you will select uh, which, which comment to display on the screen, semester one first or semester one final. Okay. And that's a really nice screen that uh, you've got available there for, for your usage. Um, the comments, again, just as you're used to. The little icon for the comments. And again, under the gears or the options, 
you have the option to show the final mark as well. And as I'm showing the final mark, you'll see the information button available there with respect to the weighting. And if you select all as well from the classes list, you'll see all the students that are in more than one of your classes. So if I say all. Oh. We can see the different classes. So for the philosophy, these are Madison's, and I also teach Madison in mathematics. And there's the expand and contrast buttons as well. Expand and collapse, pardon me. So really a nice feature. Um, as you're using this from the individual student level. And that's it for the changes that are available under the achievement area. Um, we've made a lot of these changes based on feedback from our customers, and we appreciate the feedback. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. And we, we wish you well as you approach the, the end of the semester and uh, continue with your school year. Thank you very much.